Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing my signature makeup routine that I wear whenever I don't feel like looking like a sewer rat. So, first and foremost, I'll make sure my face is completely clean. And if you're like me and you get a lot of hair on your face, I would suggest derma planning or getting your face waxed because that way when you wear foundation, it applies a lot better. So with my clean face, I'm gonna apply this Pond's Lotion because I'm super duper dry. So even if you're if you're dry or oily, it doesn't even matter because either way you're gonna need lotion. So put that all over my face. I'm literally about to go full egg mode in a minute the more I pull my scarf cap back. When I'm done doing that. I am going to then apply my e.l.f. No budge retractable eyeliner in the color black. What I do is I apply this under my upper waterline because as I said before many times in my other videos is that I like to make sure I don't have any sparse areas between my eyelashes. So I'm gonna do that really quick off camera. Now that I'm done doing that, I am going to go in with my favorite foundation of all time. It is the Huda Beauty, uh, <laughs> my favorite foundation, but I can't remember the name type beat. <laughs> Huda Beauty Fox Fil Faux Filter Foundation in the color Custard. I got this in the wrong color twice, but honestly her makeup is so expensive that I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. And I'm gonna apply it all over my face. Even on my eyelids, because I don't wear eyeshadow when I go out in public, so even over my eyelids. This, this is like a shade too light for me if you can't tell from the video. <laughs> I'm gonna get in between my brow. I'm gonna pull this back slightly. My wrinkly forehead. All right, now it looks like I painted on my face. I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Build and Bluff brush, which is something I think y'all should invest in, and blend it all out. It's giving ghosts, but I have darker, I have a darker, um, of a darker, what's the name? Of a darker powder, so it kind of evens it out. <laughs> One thing that I do like about this foundation, if I decide not to wear concealer with it, it's not gonna really be noticeable. So that's one thing I do like. And for the smaller areas of my face, such as my eyelids, I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and blend that out so I don't get um, foundation all over my eyelashes and my eyebrows. And that looks good enough. <laughs> I look like such an egg. Um, when that looks good enough, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline New York Concealer. I honestly forgot the name of this one, but this is what it looks like. It's honestly a shade bit darker than my foundation, but it still works. Or I will go in with my Instant Age Rewind Eraser, which is a bit lighter because of course it's my winter color and I get very white. So I might just actually go in with this one instead. And I'll just put it under my eyes, on my eyelids, because I have very bad dark circles. So, and my hack, because I sweat a lot when I'm in public for some reason. So, it's social anxiety. I know what the reason is. But I put some on my chin. And anywhere else, like my double chin as well, like I put a line on my double chin. Over here. And some on my forehead. But I just give those really dark areas in my face or areas that I sweat at. Because if I apply a concealer there, then when I do sweat, it doesn't show through, if that makes sense. And then I'm just gonna blend everything in. Around the areas of my nose, this area right here, 
Like right at the bridge of my nose gets really dark for some reason as well. I'm not really sure why. It's giving discoloration. And I also make sure to, there's foundations kind of in my eyebrows as well. We're gonna clean it up later, but I just wanna make sure everything on my face is the same color. I'm gonna get the forehead without, you know, showing any hair. And I'm just gonna kind of blend on my chin. What I do is I don't wear, con I don't wear contour and stuff when I leave out in public. So I kind of reverse contour so it looks more natural. So these areas of my face, such as like <laughs> the double chin, my jaw, my chin, up here, I try to make these areas of my face more prominent so that this, my cheekbones that I have been blessed with, will come in, they look, they look like they're naturally coming in more because they're just naturally shadowed without actually putting contour on. And since I'm a bit older, I'm, I'm reaching almost to the point of ancient. When I set my makeup, I make sure to re-blend my foundation in so I don't leave any creases or anything like that. So I'm gonna go in, of course, Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty is just gonna have to go ahead and sponsor me because girl. I'm gonna go in with my Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. And I'm using the color Banana Bread just for only around my eyes. Since I already picked up the wrong foundation shade twice, I only use this around my eyes because they have a tendency to crease because now I'm turning into an old hag. But I'm gonna go in with this darker color from Fit Me for the rest of my face, just to bring the color back into my face. I don't wear bronzer, I don't wear contour, I don't wear blush, I don't wear lipstick, just chapstick or Vaseline. <laughs> so, so what I'm gonna do is I get wrinkles on my forehead, so I'm just gonna blend those back in. And with my other beauty blender, I'm gonna pick up some of my powder and just apply it there. Even though people say that baking is trash, I still bake my makeup because when I sweat, my foundation does not move. I could be sweating buckets and my foundation's not gonna move or conceal it. Of course, I raised my wrinkles again, so I'm just gonna blend that back in. And you gotta make sure you really, if you get bad forehead wrinkles like me, just really relax your face. I don't care how funny it looks, just relax your face. The wrinkles will go away. Pack on powder, let it sit. Good. Looks good, it's baking All right now. Now I'm gonna do my eyes. Whatever creases the most, I'm gonna make sure I bake first. So I'm gonna blend my concealer back into my eyes. If I have to blend too much though, I'm just gonna reapply more concealer. If I feel like there's not enough concealer there, I'm adding more, I don't care. I'm gonna take a beauty blender, dip it into my Huda Beauty powder, close my eye and make sure there's no creases and my foundation, and I'm just baking it. Just applying a lot of powder, baking it. Honestly, this is not an everyday look because every day of my life, unless I'm doing something important, I go out like a sewer rat. I really don't wear <laughs> makeup every single day, unless it's for something that I might feel like I need to wear makeup for. Otherwise, I'll just wear eyeliner around my eyes, and that's it. And then I'm gonna do the same for my under eye. I'm just gonna blend all the creasing back in and then go in with my powder and my beauty blender and make sure I get into there. And I can't tell if the camera's picking it up or not, but my eyes are super duper red <laughs> because I'm tired. So. Okay, now that that's baking, I'm gonna go in with my dark, my darker powder. I have both these powders. I have color 25 and I also have color 15, the Fit Me powder. And that's just to bring color back into my face because I don't have the correct shade. So anytime you pick up an incorrect shade, just try to find a powder that's darker and it'll help you out. It'll work wonders. So it'll it'll come together in the end of this process. I'm gonna use the color 15 since I'm slightly lighter than normal because we ain't been getting out in the sun like that. And I'm gonna just gonna take a bigger brush. I'm not gonna bake the rest of my makeup on my face. I do bake on my chin, but I use my darker shade. But actually, I might just use my Huda Beauty shade. I don't know. I'm also gonna bake on my chin. 
So you can see like these features look lighter and then down here it looks darker. So it brings in my cheekbones more without having to contour. Cause like my cheekbones are there, but when I put foundation on, everything gets so much, um, it gets so much lighter. So I just kind of look like an egg. Like I'm, I'm, I try so hard to not look like an egg, but I think I'm coming to the point where I accepted it. So then just tapping off the excess powder and I'm just going to pat that straight onto my foundation. It looks aggressive, but it's not. And when you're applying your powder to the rest of your face, if you don't plan on baking, just try to be light with it so that your whole face doesn't look super duper cakey. But I like matte, uh, I like matte looks. I don't like dewy looks. I don't like looks that look like I'm sweating because I'm always sweating. So yeah. I try to stick with matte foundation looks. I think that looks the best on me. While I still look like my face has been dunked into baking powder, I am now going to go in with my e.l.f. eyeliner while everything is baking, which is everybody's favorite part <laughs> because they wonder why I wear such thick eyeliner. And the reason why I wear super duper thick eyeliner is because when I look at my eyes, to me, they look really big. So what I like to do is just try to make them smaller and in order to make your eyes look a little bit smaller, you, you'll make this part of your eyeliner thicker if you wear eyeliner under your eye like me. And then you make this part thicker and then you're gonna bring it in and make it thinner. If you make the whole eyeliner look look thick, then it's gonna be, you're gonna look like a raccoon. So we wanna avoid that. I'm probably gonna do some of this off camera too because it's not easy balancing my mirror, my mirror and my pen. I'm just gonna put my eyelid down. Just go back and forth, back and forth. I've been wearing my eyeliner really thick like this since I was about 19. I'm 25 now, so it's been a while. To some people, I know it looks strange, but I don't know. That's just, that's just how I like to wear it. <laughs> so. That's the way I'm going to wear. And my eyes, if my eyes don't look upside down, that means I'm not doing it right. So if my eyes, the more upside down my eyes look, the, the more it means it's working. And I'm just gonna bring this outer, the outer corner of my eye downward, sort of. No, um, my line isn't as thick as it used to be because it's not easy to achieve all the time, but I'm satisfied where it's at. I just like a thick line underneath my eye. That's literally it. I'm gonna do the same thing for my other eye. My eyes are different shapes if you can't tell in my videos. <laughs> so I'm gonna try my best to make them at least sisters. Start from the outer corner. Do my waterline. Back and forth, back and forth. And if you are somebody who has really their eyes water a lot, just try to put layers on of waterproof eyeliner and then that way it should stay on for the entire day. I'm not sure if this eyeliner I'm using is waterproof or not. And then just gradually I'm gonna keep bringing my line down until it matches this one on the outer corner not the inner corner like i can't stress enough this inner corner part of your eyeliner needs to be skinny this part can be fat I feel like I look really scary right now, but I promise it'll come together. <laughs> it'll go together. Oh. 
Uh, that's as even as that's gonna get. All right, now that I'm done with that, I'm just gonna grab my big powder brush yet again, and I'm gonna just dust all this powder off my face. And when I'm dusting the powder off my face, I'm just gonna add a little bit more of my darker brown powder from the Fit Me setting powder that I have and use that instead of the Huda Beauty one because the Huda Beauty color is a little bit lighter, so. Also, I also have a smaller brush for around my eyes so I don't get powder everywhere. It also helps dust the powder off. Make sure everything looks really nice. Of course, it's all over my hijab, but you know, it's all right. Okay. Once that looks good, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to use Vaseline to clean up my eyebrows and clean up my eyelashes. And what I mean by that is that I get a lot of powders, stuff on my eyelashes and my eyebrows. And those are the main, like, those are like the focal point of my makeup looks. So let's make sure there's no powder or anything. So the color comes back. All I do is I take a little bit of Vaseline, put it on my finger, I'm gonna put it on my eyebrow. <laughs> I have to make angry eyebrows while I'm doing this because I want a proper shape. <laughs> Cause I want a proper shape. So I do this every time my siblings just kind of look at me like, girl, what are you doing? So put Vaseline on there. I'm not leaving it on there. And I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel, and just wipe it off. I make sure to wet my paper towel a little bit so I don't snatch all my eyebrow hairs off. So keeping the paper towel around my finger, I'm gonna wipe this extra powder and foundation off my eyebrows that I don't need. No, I will not trim my eyebrows. I will not plug them. I will not wax them. I remember when I was younger, I hated my eyebrows so much because it was like the early thousands and everybody had super duper thin eyebrows. And I used to complain to my mom about it a lot and she would tell me about different models from I think the 80s who had big thick eyebrows and they were considered pretty. I honestly, I wasn't having it, but I'm so glad I didn't ever mess with my eyebrows. I never tweezed them or did anything to them because now everybody's like trying to get microblading done and stuff. And the kids at school like make fun of my big eyebrows, but not everybody's trying to get big eyebrows like me. I love that, love that behavior. And with the same piece of paper towel on the other side, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of Vaseline to my eyelashes. Kind of rub it between my fingers. And then lightly rub it against my eyelashes. So it gets rid of all the extra powder and stuff like that. And with the same piece of paper towel, I'm just gonna clean the Vaseline off with. From there, I'm also gonna wipe the extra foundation and concealer from around my mouth so my lip shape is back. Okay, so when everything looks relatively decent, I'm gonna put my mascara on. I'm using mascara that I got from Sephora. I think it works. It works pretty well. I don't like very heavy mascara. I just kind of want to do enough to actually bring my eye my eyelashes out in the look because my eyeliner is so th thick underneath my waterline. So I'm trying not to put too much on, just enough, just enough to bring them back out. Even though this is the Sephora brand mascara. I can say that it is kind of clumpy. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. 
Okay, that's that. And then for my lips, all I use is chapstick or Vaseline, like it's not, it's just not that deep. But my favorite chapstick for now is the chapstick brand. It's called Total Hydration, and I don't know what color this is. Ooh. It's tinted lip oil, but I'm not really sure what this color is. I always go for kind of like a pink color whenever I'm going out in public, so, because I'm not about to wear red. Ooh. Let's see. I also like that it's a um, it's a lip tint, so it's kind of similar to my mouth shade already. I try to go with something that um, is similar to what my lips are. All right, and that is literally it. It took me about. It took me about 25 minutes to do this whole look, but it's also kind of like I'm in a different environment. It normally takes me about 10 minutes to do, because I'm so used to doing that. I've been doing the same thing since I was like 15. I just switched up formulas and stuff because now I have wrinkles. So if you enjoyed today's video, let me know by leaving me a like, subscribing, and commenting. Also, if you guys would like me to do any more tutorials, reviews, or unboxings, you can let me know down in the comments below. I appreciate everybody's support. And I will see y'all in my next video.